This is going to be a three-part problem. So we're given that the length L of a rectangle is decreasing at a rate of two centimeters per second, and the width is increasing at a rate of two centimeters per second. So the length is, when the length is 12 and the width is five, we want to find the rates of change of, the first one we're going to do is the area. Now also it's going to ask, once you have the answer, wants you to indicate whether that quantity is increasing or decreasing. So we haven't talked about increasing and decreasing so far yet. The main thing is when we identify our information, the decreasing and increasing, that depends on whether it's going to be positive or negative. If something is decreasing, we've got to put a negative sign in front of it. If it's increasing, it's positive. Let's read through this information. The length of a triangle, a rectangle, is decreasing at a rate of two centimeters per second. That is dl dt. And because it says specifically decreasing, we're going to put negative two there centimeters per second. The width is increasing at a rate of, that is the dw dt, and that is given as positive two because increasing. We also have l equals 12, w equals five. So the, this information here is what I pulled from the problem. We're going to use this for all three parts. Let's start with this one, the area. Okay, uh, for this, the area of a rectangle is length times width. Now this problem does have two variables, but that's okay. I can go ahead and take the derivative of both sides because I'm actually given information about two different variables. And the problem I did previously this one involving the cone, that one had radius and a height, but no information was given as far as the radius is concerned, so we had to make a substitution. But this one, we don't need to do that. I'm going to go ahead and take the derivative as is. Now, because I'm multiplying two things together, I need to use the product rule. So I have dA dt. Okay, now L times W, I'm going to apply the product rule. Product rule says the first thing times derivative of the second. Derivative of W is dW dt. Normally, I would apply the power rule on that, but because it's raised to the first power, you would just get dW dt plus the second thing, which is w, times the derivative of the first, that is uh, dl dt. Okay, so this is the correct product rule on that. They're asking us to solve for, find the rates of change of the area, so actually what I have there, dA dt, is what they want us to solve for. I have all the information I need to plug in here to get the answer. So dA dt is equal to, okay, the length, 12, dw dt is 2, and then I have w is given as 5, dl dt, remember it's negative, okay, so negative 2 goes in there. Now I just need to compute this, 24 minus 10 is 14, that means that my dA dt, the numerical value is 14. What units do we have here? Okay, I'm multiplying these two together here, the, uh, when you have a, an area, you're using square units here, and because we're dealing with centimeters, it's going to be square centimeters per second. Because you're multiplying two centimeters here, two ce centimeter times centimeter per second, centimeter, centimeters per second, so that's centimeters squared you get when you multiply each of those. That's going to be your answer for part A. Next we'll do part B. I should mention that on the previous problem, on part A, we got 14, that would be considered increasing because it's a positive number. So sometimes the questions that you do online may ask you whether it's increasing or decreasing. The final answer is positive, it's going to be increasing, so that one was increasing. This time, they want us to find the rate of change of the perimeter. Now everything else is all the same, we already identified all this information, we just now have to use the correct formula. Okay, so for a perimeter, your perimeter is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Okay, that's the perimeter formula that we're going to apply here. We're going to do the derivative of both sides. We want to find the rate of change of the perimeter. That is dp dt, and then we'll do the rest of it. Uh, 2 and then dl dt, and then 2 dw dt. We have all this information provided. Just plug it all in to get the answer. dp dt is going to equal 
2 and then dl dt is negative 2. Then 2 times dw dt is 2. dp dt, I get negative 4 plus 4. That gives me uh, 0, and that would be in terms of uh, centimeters per second. So what's that mean? I get 0. That means nothing's changing at all. And that makes sense because if you're decreasing the length and you, and at the same time increasing the width, that means that everything's basically going to be balancing out, which means that there's no change at all here. The perimeter is not changing. It's going to be constant. Okay, now for part C, they want to find it, the rate that the lengths of diagonals are changing with respect to time. Let's draw a picture to figure out what the relationship is between these sides. Okay, I have a rectangle, diagonal right there. I'm going to call the diagonal capital letter D. I have my L and I have the W. So I want to come up with a formula that relates this. Those three variables form a triangle, and in fact it's a right triangle, and one formula we know we can use for right triangles would be the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so I'm going to use L squared plus W squared is going to equal D squared. That's A squared plus B squared equals C squared, just with different variables, we're using that. So this is the formula we're going to be applying here. Now we want to take the derivative of both sides with respect to time. We've got to use chain rule on all those. So this, the 2 is going to come down to L, and then don't forget to do the derivative of the inside. You're going to have dl dt here. And then next one, 2 comes down w dw dt. And the end here, the 2 comes down d, you have dd dt. So we did the chain rule all the way across. Now it's just a matter of plugging in information that's been provided. So I have this information. I can plug all that in here. So let's do 2L. So I have 2 times the L. Length is going to be 12. DL dt was given as negative 2, decreasing. And then I have the W, 5, that's given as. DW dt is 2. So I have all that information, same that we did before in the previous parts. Now what about this? Now D I don't have, however I can find it based on my picture or I can even use this right here. So I have a right triangle, 12 and I have a 5. I want to find the D, you can use Pythagorean theorem on that or recognize it's a special 5, 12, 13 triangle and you get that your D is equal to 13. So I'll put 13 in right here and then the only variable that is unknown is what we're trying to solve for. So this is what we're going to be going for here. Let's work all this out and simplify it. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, for this one negative 48 and then for this I get 20 equals 26 dd dt. I can add that together get negative 28 equals 26 dd dt Then divide both sides by 26. The last thing we'll do is reduce our answer. So we get negative 28 over 26. Divide both those by 2. You're going to get negative 14 over 13. What's going to be the units on this? Okay, well, if the length and width are changing in terms of centimeters per second, which they are, that means the diagonal is going to be changing also. So this would be in terms of centimeters per second as well, so negative 14 thirteenths.